Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Legend of Grimrock 2. Now, I've been sitting here, looking at this puzzle for a bit, and I think I was on the right track before. We need to definitely draw spell patterns. But what I think we need to do is we need to draw the spell that's happening and not draw poison spells that we think are fancy. So I bet you the fire spell, fireball specifically, is what we need to be drawing here. So let's try some things that might be fireball. Fireball might be the top line because ice was the bottom line. No. Oh, oh, hang on. Okay, something's changed. That's the spell that we have. We can do that one. That would be one... Oh, put these back in our inventory one at a time. One here. One here. And we're standing on the middle one. Ooh, now it's a lightning spell. Okay. So we're definitely on the right track here. Let's try... A vertical spell... Like this? With maybe... An extra one here? No. I don't know lightning spells yet. Do we have any any indication of lightning spells here? Shock is just that corner. No. We don't really have any good indication of shock spells. This one? No. Here, maybe? No. I don't know. It has to use this corner, but I don't know much else about the shock element, so it's hard for me to tell what it would involve. Maybe it's a, a thing like that? No. Or a little square? Doesn't look like it. We're definitely finding something here, though. Maybe it has... something going on... like this? Nope. This is a tricky one, okay. Do we have anything else we could try here? That doesn't appear to be anything. Let's gather up these stones and try a different arrangement. We've definitely changed the element twice now, so we're definitely on the right track. What if it's an L? Or like a big, bigger shape? Doesn't appear to be. Or maybe it is a curved shape? No. Hmm. This one is a pain, because this one I'm not really sure what we're doing. It's not that, it's not this. It's not that. I don't think it's that, I think we tried that already. It's not this. It could have something to do with the middle, like that. Let's try that kind of arrangement. See if we can experiment here. What we're doing right now, I think, is we're basically learning spells. We're doing spell patterns as though we knew what they were already. Does this do it? An S shape through the middle? Nope. Alright, so we may actually have to come back here once we figure out the actual spell pattern. It could also be... Oh, there's so many shapes it could be. So many shapes it could be. I'm just trying things blindly here. Which is probably not a great idea. But it could be a shape like this. No. Alright, well, we got two steps through this thing, but now we're not making much progress. So we may have to go back until we can figure out what's actually the solution here. Which is too bad, because... We actually changed some things in this puzzle, which is cool. And the shock spell that we have, I'm pretty sure... We can't cast it anyway, but I'm pretty sure it's just a single spot, and that would not be this. Maybe it's... I don't want to keep trying random arrangements here, but I have one more I want to try at least. Something like this? Oh, we got it! <gasps> we did it! Awesome! We solved it. Now we got a fancy wand and reward. Awesome, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Some bread. Perfect. Everyone's favorite thing to acquire. What is this? The serpent staff. 
Is there anything else in here? There's a little mud wart. Is there anything else that we can get from being in here? Doesn't look like it. That looks like that's everything. Alright, what does this serpent staff do? I bet you it empowers elemental. Ooh, as a spit attack. That's interesting. A staff resembling a golden snake. Is it better than the one we have? Like, what? It doesn't give you energy bonuses or anything. Why would you use that instead of this? I don't know. Can you cast spells through it? No, it's a clubbing weapon. What is the point of this? You can shoot with it. That's something. So I guess we'll, we'll do this for now. But what's the point of it? I don't quite understand. Huh. That's disappointing. I thought it was going to be a cool wand of something, some kind that we could use, but it's, it's a stick that you hit people with and use to spit energy. Might come in handy, but it's not what I was expecting. Okay. Let's do a little save here, just because why not? And we'll work our way onwards, I suppose. That's a lot of trial and error for an item that I'm not as excited about as I hoped it would be. Okay. Out of the cave we go, then. There's the notes we left behind. Nothing waiting to ambush us as we come out of the cave. No, we're good. I bet you most of the enemies are back, though. That would not surprise me at all. Alright, let's take a peek around, though, and see if we can find anything else exciting in here. We have explored most of this place, so I'm not expecting too much new to suddenly pop up. Been down there already. Ugh, the frogs are all back. That makes exploring this place much more irritating. At least we got a nice crit on that attack. Power up the sword. No, you don't. Of course, I missed my powered up attack, but at least I was able to shoot it. No, you don't, you stinking... Oh, the mosquitoes came here, too. Okay. Out of the way, please. Heading to somewhere where I can only be attacked from one side. Alright. Can we hit these guys with any attacks? Nope. We cannot. Just with the ice magic. I wish we were accurate enough to actually hit them. That would make this a lot more interesting. But we are not. Now this guy's got to be close to death. He may not be terminally injured already, but he's definitely got to be close to death. Because we've been clubbing him for a while here. Mm, nope, not eating my gear today. Not if I can help it. Alright, we got your tongue. Put that in a food bag. There you go. Okay. Let's get rid of these old torches. We don't need them. Clear up some space in our inventory. I don't know what this hub key is for. That would be interesting to know. Like, if we go to the hub, do we activate it there? Or do we have to use something in here to activate the hub? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go back, though, and see what we can find across the river. We may have to experiment with jumping in the water, even though it seems like a terrible idea. But in order to know what we have to look at, we gotta come over here and explore a little bit more. Problem is, you really can't see anything in there. So there may still be plenty of enemies in the water. But you can't see them. The water's too murky for that. Hmm. There's also that, uh, energy-locked pavilion over here we may want to try and experiment with. Don't know what it does yet, but I'm sure there's something interesting with it. This one, in particular. No idea how to interact with this thing yet. I still suspect it has something to do with being under the water, though, sadly. 
Is there something nearby we could throw, maybe, to interact with it? Or... I don't know. I don't see much. And this game is full of mysteries, though. And there's really not much to see in the water here. Let's dig this spot. Oh, time passes since we have our clock. We can actually see now. That's interesting. Since we have the timepiece, we get to see how much time passes when we do these actions. That's really interesting. Okay, that's useful. I approve of that for sure. Alright, you know what we're going to do right now is we're going to go dig up that mystery item that we found a, a, uh, a clue to. And then we might come back here later. For now, though, I'm not really keen on jumping into the pond. So we're going to take a look around. We'll come back here and explore the water later. First, though, we're going to go look at that. I was hoping this cave would take us across. But it looks like that's not how it's done. Sadly. All right. Anything interesting in there? There is something in there. You see that? I don't know if we can get in there. Doesn't look like it. On the map, is it a solid line? On the map, it's a solid line. So you can't get in there. It looked like we might have been able to, but sadly, no. Alright, let's move on then. Let's get out of here, and we'll go find out whatever's hidden in that space in the ground, and then we might come back and jump in the pond and look around in there for a bit. So, we are headed over this way. We should also see what this hub key does in the hub area. So it's right here, I think we need to dig. Aha! Are you a Mimic? You're locked. You may still be a Mimic. Are you a Mimic? No. Okay, good. What is all this, then? That looks like the Reed shoes. Reed Sabatons, yeah. We also got some more cheese. This game really likes giving you cheese. And three shuriken. Huh. Okay, well, we'll take the stuff, I guess. The Reed Sabatons are 4 protection, 2 evasion armor. That's nice. Better than the leather boots we have. You already have leather boots, so I can give these to our mage who has no shoes. That'll make them better protected. Huh. Also, I think these are the mages. He has them in his inventory. Yeah, he does. There we go. That's better. Um, items need to be clumped together again. I don't know if we're going to use these shuriken, because you can't actually do a whole lot with them just yet. But I might as well hold on to them. I'm going to hold on to the rapier, just because it's related to that uh, sword guy's story. Kill Hagen. Put the machete in there, though. Let's get rid of some of these weapons. I'm not going to use these. So we'll store them in there for now. Got a lot of food in my inventory. Do I have a bag of food here? I do. I can put some more in there, then. But uh, this looks pretty solid to me. Is there anything else I want to get rid of I can put in this chest? Not at the moment. Got a lot of interesting things here. Don't need this map anymore. Put the map, how to find this chest, in the chest. There we go. Eat some food quickly. You've got plenty of food to choose from. And you're fine for food for now. Okay. So, that'll do. That'll do indeed. Let's go find out what's up with this hub key. Do we use it in the hub, or do we use it to unlock something from the hub? We'll have to find out. Is it used in here, maybe? No, there's no keyhole there. That's Shipwreck Beach. Keelbreach Bog is here. How do I use this key, though? <laughs> Not like that. Alright, so I evidently haven't found how to activate this hub yet. Although, this one was already activated and there was no keyhole nearby. Hello, turtles! I'm back! I feel bad for you if you weren't so ineffectual. That doesn't seem to do anything. That's a bit... That, this, this thing doesn't do anything. 
Uh, all right, let's get out of here. Teleport back. This this spit wand really seems useless. I don't know what it's for. Maybe we'll find out in the future, but it definitely doesn't seem to do anything right now. This fires a little bit of spit, and it honestly seems to be what it is. All right, weird. Well, let's remove the dig here marker. We may have to explore in the water a little bit here. I think it might be safer to do that in the water near where we've already explored, just to see if we can actually do anything in the water here. You really can't see anything in the water, even though I know there's turtles and all kinds of stuff under there. Let's go find somewhere that has a ladder, and then we can experiment right by the ladder so we can get out if we need to, see if we can find any way to actually attack enemies or do anything while in the water. Hello, turtle. Now I see you. Okay, maybe you can see things in the water. Maybe it was just that that area actually had no enemies in the water. Interesting. Alright, so we're gonna hop in the water here. Man, there's actually not a lot there. You can't reverse up a ladder. That's good to know. Let's grab this and make our way back to the ladder so we can get out. We're starting to suffocate now. Although, look at that! Kachik suffocates really slowly. Possibly just because he has so much energy compared to the rest of them. But Kachik does suffocate really slowly. Let's jump in the water over here. Is there anything further over this way? Oh, we left the area. Oh no. Alright, we found something cool. Uh-oh. But we may suffocate for it. Run to the water. Where am I? I'm really lost. We're on Sleet Island. Alright, we might suffocate and die here. Let's go. We're definitely suffocating to death. I got really confused by all those turnarounds. Can we make it out of here without dying? Get up. Up we go. Okay. Whoo! <laughs> we found a new area, though. Hang on. Let me get that. Interesting. Is that the same as this area? Probably. Probably. Hmm. Well, that uh, that was an adventure and a half suffocating to death while trying to find our way back. We're not going to give up, though. We're going to explore some more still. Do any of our weapons work underwater? Nothing works underwater. Okay. So currently, underwater enemies are immune to anything we could throw at them. Like that turtle. Okay, is there anything else we can find around here? Is there anywhere we can go that's a little bit further from a ladder, but still has a ladder within reasonable reach? That area looks like it might have something interesting, because there's a lot of pond over that way that we can't really get to otherwise. But if we go in there, we have a long walk back before we can get to this ladder. So let's make sure that we have a full health, and we'll go see if we can figure out what's down there. This may be extremely suicidal. But I'm interested in experimenting with it, nonetheless. That's a locked chest. Do we still have any keys left? No, we used up all of our lockpicks already. This game really likes to deny you lockpicks. Alright, let's get over here, grab the healing, then we'll come back and see what we can find here, because there's bound to be something exciting. There's also that way we can go down. That might actually lead into the same water as here, which would be interesting. It looks like these areas are more connected than I originally thought. Thank you for the heal. Alright, now let's go back. We could hop into the water over here and make our way over... Because the ladder... Where's the nearest ladder? It's right here, okay. So we can explore this water a little bit. Is there anything here? Alchemical ingredients. Can I grab the fi You can grab the fish. What? That's taking fishing to a whole new level. 
You just grab the fish out of the water. <laughs> Alright, well that's all that we see here. Also, there's a locked area there. Let's look at that in a second. Got another fresh breath, fresh breath of air. Look at that! There's reed pants under there. How do we do that? Hmm. Let's hop out of the water again. Hop back in. There's a switch there. Okay, on the other side, we can open up that thing to get those pants. Let's do that. Now, how do we get out from here safely? There's the ladder. Click that switch. Now we gotta run in a hurry, because there's also a turtle in our way. Run, 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 run. We're gonna start suffocating soon. But we got out before we took any damage. Fantastic. Let's go around and find those pants. I'm guessing they're not great armor, but if they're anything like the other Reed set, they'll give us a evasion bonus as well as a protection bonus. Which will help us out quite a bit. So let's head around this way. We can just jump in the water. We don't need to go across the bridge here. And pants, reed leg mail, fantastic, and frost bombs. Fantastic. Let's get out of here. We're over encumbered, which is dangerous under the water. There we go. Reed leg mail. Plus four protection, plus two evasion. It's better than the leather quiz. So we can take this off, we give this to you, because you can wear light armor now, right? Yes, you can. And we'll give the leather pants to somebody else who needs some actual pants. Like our hero there. Okay. So right now, we have everything except for the chest plate out of reeds. So we have the pants, the boots, and the hat. So the reed chest plate is somewhere, but I don't know where it actually is. Alrighty, well that was some nice things to find. What else is down here in the water? There's another fish we can steal. If we're fast enough. Let's get out of the water here. Because we're suffocating. There we go, regenerate and hop back in. There's another fish. There is a box down here. Uh oh, over encumbered. Let's get out. We're going to be suffocating soon. Okay, we're out. What's in the box? A gold key. Very nice. And leather pants. Okay, not quite as fancy. And a torch. I get the feeling it's not going to work too well, but we'll take it anyway. Alright, we'll put the fish in here. We've got a couple different kinds of fish now. Silver roach, smoked sea bass. Interesting. I bet you we can use all these gold keys. I bet there's a bunch of gold keys in here that we can use to open more of those things back in the, uh, the cache over there. This box is heavy, though. Em even empty, it's three kilograms. Let's give this to our rat friend. We have a bunch of light armor that nobody wants to wear. I don't know if I should keep it or not, but we'll hold on to it for now. I'd love to come take a peek over this way, but I am kind of afraid of it, because it's a long way back. We could easily suffocate to death before we can make it out. It's not that far. Or rather, it's, it's not that close to make it a reasonable escape route. Let's hop back in here, though, and see what else we can find by the bridge. There's a turtle swimming away. Good. Don't pay any mind to me there, turtle. I don't see much in this particular section. Ooh. Toxic bombs. Also, we're suffocating. Let's get out of here quickly. Turn. Over. Over. Turn. And up. There we go. On the plus side, Kachik suffocates really slowly, so we could theoretically get him back even if everybody else died. That was awesome, though. We got some poison bombs for future use if we don't want to be using ice or fire bombs in a particular area. Okay. That's something good to find. Is there anything else under this bridge? Can we go straight under the bridge, or are we stuck here by it? There's a ladder right there if we need to get out. Bridge looks more or less safe to us. Turtle's mad. Let's get out of here. Okay. Well, we're discovering interesting things here, so I don't mind spending a bit of time in the water. Hopefully you guys don't mind either, but I'm betting you that in order to get that power stone over there, there is a ladder here. We just need to jump in the water. Hello. Turtle. 
Arrows, interesting. Yup. <laughs> Power gem get. That was not that difficult. All we had to do was not be afraid to go swimming. And what's this? Gloves, a tattered cloak? There's some good stuff here. Tattered cloak goes on you to give our Minotaur some extra evasion. The reed gauntlets, I hadn't even considered them. Plus four protection, plus two evasion, same as before. When clenched to a fist, the reeds wrap around the wearer's hand tightly and improve its grip. These sabatons are thick and durable, but almost as comfortable to wear as a pair of loafers. This leg mail is very flexible, despite its thick construction. Alright, well, let's put on the reed gauntlets. Nobody, anybody can wear these gloves. Nobody has any restrictions to that. So who still needs gloves? Let's give them to our mage, because they're still the most vulnerable of our party. Awesome. Alright, we're finding more cool stuff. I like, I like what we're doing here. Now I'm guessing we don't want to go try and go back this way, because there's turtles in here. Is there anything cool else in the water, though? There's something blue shiny over there. Hang on, what was that? That's the other arrow. Okay, we can ignore that for now. Let's hop out of the water. Head over this way. And get over to this ladder. Then we can climb out over here. And we can go back around and experiment more in the water over on this side. See if there's anything else in there that's any good. Can I see anything? There's another herb in there. There is the turtle right there that you can definitely see in the water. So that's actually a nice thing to know. It's not as difficult to see underwater as I originally suspected it might be. So I'll take that herb and we will get out of here. Take that fish as well, why not? Okay. So that's actually really cool. We found a bunch of good stuff here in the river. We still haven't gone this way though. That's the last place we need to check for now. And I'm definitely afraid of it. It's, it seems the most likely to suffocate us to death. But we should experiment with it anyway. Is there anywhere we can get closer to the edge? Doesn't look like it. We're going to have to hop in here and go the long way around. Let's see if this takes us anywhere good. Gotta go fast. There's nothing here. Gotta go back. Before we drown. It's a long way back. We started suffocating, but we shouldn't drown. We should be able to get out. A oh, little bit of suffocation damage, but we're okay. There really is nothing over there, eh? I'm gonna go take another look. We're gonna go try again one more time, just to make sure I didn't miss anything over there. It seems strange that there'd be a long tunnel with nothing at the end, but it might just be that it's there to make you experiment and potentially suffocate yourself, so... It's entirely possible. Yeah, I don't see anything here. Nope. Alright. Out we go, then. And there's the suffocation happening. Let's go quick, quick, quick. And we're out. Okay. Whew. Little bit of horrible injury, but overall, that was good. We've explored more of this area now and discovered more of its secrets, which is awesome. We have another locked chest here, another locked chest here. We need to find more lockpicks, I tell you. But, uh, overall, that was pretty successful. We're going to have to explore the water over here now, though. And that, I'm not super uh, not super keen on. We could also go up to Sleet Island, but I want to finish Keel Breach Bog first. So, I guess that's going to be the end of this episode soon enough, anyway. Let's go down through the water here, though, and see if it links up to this. Take another risky maneuver and see if we can get out that way. We should heal up before we try it, but just to experiment and just to make sure the world is linked together like I think it is, we're going to experiment a little bit more with potentially suffocating ourselves to a horrible death. There we go. Through we go, and let's get ready to go swimming. We should probably heal up first, though, just to make sure that our two uh, warriors are not super likely to drown. There we go. Now back over this way, we'll get as close as we can to this intersection. And it may be, may be entirely possible that we get in there and we just totally regret our decision because there's enemies everywhere, but then we can go back if we have to. Oh, the water's gross. Alright, we just got the Holy Diver achievement for going swimming a lot. 
Well, I don't like being in this water, but as far as I can tell, it's effectively the same as the water everywhere else. It's just much more murky. Okay, so in that case, let's look around a little bit and see if we can actually find anything in here before we end the episode. Because there's no reason to be so hasty now that this water appears to be the same as all the other water we've experienced so far. I will grab the herb, though, and then we'll probably need to go back and refresh our air, because we spent too long under the water. There we go. Refresh the air. Back down we go. Dive off the ladder. Are there enemies over here? Not that I see yet. I bet you there's going to be big, terrifying fish enemies in one of these areas, though. Up you go there, guys. Alright. We got our air back. We're okay. Oh, the mosquitoes are back, too. <sighs> mosquitoes. I don't like them because they're so hard to hit. If it was more feasible to actually fight them, I wouldn't mind so much. Hmm. Oh, you teleported to get to me. Really? That was unexpected. Right, let's run around a little bit so you can't attack us super easily while we're recharging. How did that not kill you yet? These guys are irritating. Come on, spell. There we go. You hardly get any experience from them either. They just hurt. Alright. Well, let's hop in the pond over here. Ooh. That seems like that's how you get in there. Alright, well we've come up for air. We have to kill some more mosquitoes. Can I hit them with anything? Yes, actually, surprisingly. I guess we got the low odds shot there. And they're dead. Perfect. Alright, so we're going to have to get a stone ready to drop on that spot. And we go back up and claim our treasure. I was right, though. It was an underwater switch to get this. Is it a mimic? No. Okay. Lightning bombs. A torch. Not super exciting, but I'll take it. And a crossbow coral. Hmm. We've got a couple of those now. We don't have any crossbows or anybody who's likely to use them, but I'll hold on to them because I'm a hoarder. I can't help it. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so you're over-encumbered now. What are you carrying that over-encumbers you? Give that mask back to here for now. Eat some turtle. I'm actually going to give one of the empty bags to you as well, because then you can store all this stuff a little bit more neatly. All this food you have. There we go. So that's two bags of food there. That's good. Healing potion. I should use this Tome of Knowledge, but I'm... I don't know. I don't know who I want to use it on. Alright, we should hop back into the pond, though, and see what else we can find in here. It's really hard to see in here. I'll take that, though, and we'll climb back up and regenerate our air. Interestingly enough, since we've used our energy with our mage, it looks like it's a lot harder for us... Silver Roach again. Looks like it's a lot easier for him to suffocate now because he doesn't have as much capacity. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I hope this isn't bad for our clock. <laughs> Looks like it's fine. Also, our torch burned out, so we can just dump that. Get a new one. Does it automatically go out if we go underwater? It does! Oh. Can it be relit? Yes, it can. Can this one be relit? No, this one burned out. That's interesting. So you can actually put your torches out that way. That's good to know. It goes down deeper there? No, thank you. Don't want to go in the deeper water. Alright, we're going to end this episode here for now. We've explored some of Keelbreach Bog. We're over the 30 minute timer. We're going to end here. So, thank you very much for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor playing some Legend of Grimrock 2 here for you. Exploring Keelbreach Bog's uh, terrible depths. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again next time. Let me know what you thought about the video in the comments and all that jazz. And look forward to seeing you then. Until then, though, bye bye